it's going to absolutely fry off. Let's get on the road and do our interviews. Here, why coming up tonight at five. Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rebecca, if you are new here. I am a local TV news reporter in Illinois. Today I wanted to film a day in the life of a news reporter because I know there are a lot of young journalists out there who don't exactly know what a day to day kind of There are a lot of young aspiring journalists out there who don't know what it's like day to day for a news reporter on TV or just anybody who works in news in general. And so I just wanted to take you guys along with me as I go out, shoot my own stories, edit my stories and see my stories all the way through up until they get on television. So before we get started, just a little bit of background about me. I am a multimedia journalist, also known as a news reporter at WGEM in Quincy, Illinois. This is my first job out of college. I'm originally from Massachusetts, but moved all the way to the Midwest for this job. And I've been here for about a month, at least in this job for about a month. And I've loved it so far. It's been so great. Not every day is easy. It's a lot of long, hard hours and I work a lot of overtime, but if you love what you do, then work is fun. At least so far it's been fun for me. But anyways, I just want to hop on here and give a quick shout out. Oh my God, what is this hair doing? Okay, anyways, I just want to give a quick shout out to my friend Charity. Her YouTube channel is Chit Chats with Charity. This video is totally inspired by hers. Uh, she and I are coworkers and she did a day in the life of a journalist. She's actually done a few of those before, but um, go watch her video. She just did one a couple weeks ago. It's awesome. And also make sure to subscribe to her channel because you're going to love her. Okay, that's it. Enjoy the video. Bye. Good morning, everybody. It is about 7 a.m. It's Friday. Happy Friday to myself because this is probably not going to go up on a Friday. Looking a little rough this morning, but you know what? This is a vlog. I'm trying to be authentic. This is what I look like when I wake up. If I don't have a story set up earlier uh, in the morning, then I typically go into work around 8.40. We have a meeting around 9.15 where I have to pitch story ideas and then we kind of get the, the day started. So I wake up around 7.00. Uh, if I don't already have story ideas, I will sit in bed and look some up and then I will start to get ready and I will do that on camera today. One of the things I do when I look for stories is browse social news desk. Um, basically it combines a bunch of different social media accounts that I want to follow um, and I can just see kind of like what's going on in uh, the area all at once and it's really nice. Sometimes however, there isn't anything on social media, so I have to call around on my beat and see, um, you know, what's going on. And I might have to do that today because there's not really much happening on social media. So basically at my station, each reporter has different beats. I cover two different counties and I'm also on the education beat. So anything that involves schools, uh, colleges, elementary, middle, high school, whatever, that is my beat. So yeah, I don't know. I like it. <laughs> After I look for stories, I come to my closet. And now I have the difficult decision of choosing what to wear. So the way that I organize my closet is like coats and stuff. And then I have shirts. And then I did dresses and pants and skirts. So I organize them by color because I try not to wear like the same two colors back to back. Not like it really matters as a reporter, but if you're an anchor, you can kind of, you know, I don't know, you're there throughout the whole newscast and you wear orange today or whatever and you wear orange the next day, viewers are gonna kinda see that. So I tried to do the same thing, even though I'm a reporter. Um, so I have a variety of shirts. As you can see, I'm missing some colors. Like I have a lot of reds and oranges and stuff and I really need greens and purples. Um, dresses, I have a good number of, but I really need more. I haven't worn this one yet. It's like this orange one. Flares out a little bit. I might wear this one. I changed my mind. I ended up going with this little number. I just feel like the orange dress that I have, I need to get jewelry that like matches it and I don't have a necklace that kind of complements the dress yet. So I'm gonna go with this one and wear some white sandals and we'll be good to go. Welcome to my bathroom. Uh, this is where I do my makeup. Obviously, <laughs> uh, I have mirrors in here. 
Um, and I usually do my hair as well. Now, sometimes I try to wear my hair like natural on air. Actually, most times I feel like. Um, because of a number of reasons. One, I have naturally wavy curly hair, which means my hair is already kind of dry. Two, um, I color my hair. The blonde in my hair is not natural, as many of you can probably tell. Um, and by dyeing it every so often, it kind of automatically dries out my hair a little bit. So that with my wavy hair, it's already kind of dry. If I put heat tools on it every day, it's going to absolutely fry off. So that's why we want to prevent that from happening. So after my hair and makeup are done, I will go into my kitchen and make myself some breakfast. Eggo waffles are a go-to for me. My phone is definitely not gonna stay here. Right now I am loading the news car with my equipment for the day. Right now I am in uh, the news car, one of them. I think my station has about six of them. Um, and basically I have an interview in about 10 minutes, so I'm going to put where I'm going in my GPS because I'm still pretty new to the area, so I don't really know. Uh, we're gonna go there, we're gonna shoot that, and then I have another interview in the same city. Um, I'm staying here in Quincy today, so I'm not going very far. Sometimes I do have to drive like an hour to a story and then also drive an hour back, so that's kind of a lot. But today we're staying in the area, which is exciting to me, and I'm so, 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 so thankful for that. Um, but yeah, let's get on the road and do our interviews. Three, two, one. Senator Jill Tracy is pushing for masks to be optional in schools. Hear why? Coming up tonight at five. Okay, so I just finished up my interviews for today, shot my stand-up, which is basically uh, me like kind of coming in the middle of my package to say something, puts my face on the screen, uh, shot my topical, which basically says, coming up tonight at five, here, why, blah, blah, blah. And now I'm on my way back to the station, uh, gonna take probably a lunch break and then start editing my package together for today. And then yesterday I shot a um, an interview for a VOSOT, which is basically voiceover sound on tape. The anchor will kind of introduce the story and uh, we'll put a little sound bite from one interview in there. So I will talk to you later. All right, everybody, I am back and I'm in my car because I got lunch today out. I did not bring lunch to work because I forgot. Um, and let me show you my lunch haul. <laughs> I went to Hardee's, which is exciting, kind of, I don't know. I've only really had it once before in North Carolina, so I wanted to see how Illinois and Hardee's compared. So far, it's really good. Got their new BLT chicken sandwich. Okay, look at that bun. Looks so good. Got some fries and some... I got a bunch of stuff over here. Ranch dressing to dip them in. So I'm very excited about that. After I shoot everything, I come into the voice recording room and I do my voiceover for my package. Three, two, one. The new school year starts next month for most Illinois schools. With so many students still not vaccinated, the State Board of Education says masks will remain mandatory inside school buildings. So now I'm at my live shot. I have my scripts, I have my microphone, and camera. 
WGEM's Rebecca Duffy has been following this story. She is live in Quincy with the details. Rebecca. Dylan, the Adams County Health Department supports social distancing and mask wearing for those who are unvaccinated. Now, with many students who are unvaccinated and those who are younger than 12 who are unable to be, the state plans to keep masks in schools. But Senator Jill Tracy thinks that's a bad idea. Just wrapped up my work day and now I'm heading home. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys learned something about what it's like to be a news reporter, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below to see more of my videos. Once again, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.